And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. <laughs> Which brings us to 10th grade. Welcome to another funny episode of Learning English with the Big Bang Theory. In today's scene, Howard is a little depressed and talks to Penny about his bad experiences with women he has had so far. At the end of their conversation, Howard has yet another bad experience with a woman, as Penny punches him in the face. You will see the reason for it towards the end of today's video, so make sure to stay till the end. And then when I was 14, I met Marcy Grossman. She was so beautiful. She just got her braces off, but... They left a little of the overbite. It was so hot. <laughs> like a sexy little chipmunk. <laughs> I didn't have the courage to ask her out, but I dedicated a song to her at the ninth grade talent show. Oh, that sounds sweet. Marcy Grossman is sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, Marcy Grossman is the month of May. Oh, it's cute. I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way? Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, talking about Marcy. That's great. Grossman. Uh -huh, it's fun. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. <laughs> Which brings us to 10th grade. Howard, do you think maybe sometimes you try too hard? <laughs> Look at me. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? <sighs> well, you'd have a terrific chance. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you have a cool job, you build stuff that goes into outer space. I guess. No, look, I'm telling you, I've known you for like a year and a half, and this is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. And you know what? I like him. He's a nice guy. You really think so? Yes. I don't know. No, I do. <laughs> You have just watched the whole scene with subtitles. Now I will break it down for you. You will now watch tiny bits of the scene, after which I will immediately explain all the essential vocabulary. Let's go. She just got her braces off, but they left a little of the overbite. <laughs> braces are a set of wires attached to a person's teeth in order to straighten them over time. An overbite is the position of the teeth in which the upper teeth go over the lower teeth when a person bites them together. The opposite of an overbite would be an underbite, where the lower teeth go over the upper teeth. She just got her braces off, but they left a little of the overbite. <laughs> it was so hot. <laughs> like a sexy little chipmunk. <laughs> a chipmunk is a small North American animal with fur and dark stripes along its back. One characteristic of a chipmunk is that these animals have an obvious overbite. I guess you'd say what? can make me feel this way. Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, talking about Marcy. That's great. Grossman. Uh -huh, it's fun. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. Talking about is short for talking about. So Howard omits the G in talking and the A in about. This is typical of conversational English in informal contexts and in songs in particular. However, you wouldn't do that in written English. Look at me. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? 
Well, you'd have a terrific chance. Terrific means very good. You use terrific when you want to emphasize something. So it's even more than good. It's terrific. Well, you'd have a terrific chance. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you have a cool job, you build stuff that goes into outer space. I guess. No. Outer space is the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. I guess is used when you believe something is true or likely, but you're not certain. So Howard said, I guess, because he was not really convinced that Penny was right, as a lot of Howard's experiences with women have shown otherwise. Sometimes you also hear I guess so instead of I guess, which means exactly the same. Now it's time to watch the whole scene again without subtitles. And as I've promised, you will get to know why Penny punches Howard in the face. And then when I was 14, <laughs> I met Marcy Grossman. She was so beautiful. She just got her braces off, but they left a little of the overbite. It was so hot. <laughs> like a sexy little chipmunk. <laughs> I didn't have the courage to ask her out, but I dedicated a song to her at the ninth grade talent show. Oh, that sounds sweet. Marcy Grossman is sunshine <laughs> on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. Marcy Grossman is the month of May. Oh, it's cute. I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way? Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, Marcy Grossman, talking about Marcy. That's great. Grossman. Oh, it's fun. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. Which brings us to 10th grade. Howard, do you think maybe sometimes you try too hard? <laughs> Look at me. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? <sighs> well, you'd have a terrific chance. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you have a cool job, you build stuff that goes into outer space. I guess. No, look, I'm telling you, I've known you for like a year and a half, and this is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. And you know what? I like him. He's a nice guy. You really think so? Yes. I don't know. No, I do. As you may know, Howard wasn't the only one to try to become Penny's boyfriend. By clicking this video here, you will watch Leonard preparing for his first ever date with Penny. He is nervous and sweating like crazy. Have fun with it. 